Hi guys, I'm AJ. I'm 26 years old, 5 foot 6, and I am beginning my weight loss journey. You can come along with me if you'd like. <laughs> um, first, I just want to start with my history. And yes, I wrote down notes because I've tried to do this video multiple times and I end up babbling and babbling and babbling, getting off track, babbling some more, maybe getting back on track for a few seconds and then getting lost again. So yes, I have my notes. <laughs> So basically, my journey originally started in late 2011, and I was at my highest weight of 270 pounds. Um, that fall, I started working out at Curves, and in the first four months of being a Curves member, I lost 30 pounds. Um, so in the beginning of 2012, uh, the Curves owner actually came to me and asked me if I would be interested in being a Curves coach. Um, that turned into not me only being a Curves coach, I was also a Curves Complete coach, which is the diet plan through Curves, and then I also became a Zumba instructor. Um, so you're probably wondering how I was all of those things and I'm still overweight. Well, we'll get to that. Um, also in 2012, I wanted to note that that was my first 5K and what really got me um, serious about jogging in 2013. Um, since my first 5K in 2012, I've done a total of six. And one of my motivations to stay on track right now is that I plan on doing a 5k this fall. I haven't picked one yet, but I do plan on doing one. Uh, like I said, in 2013 I got serious about jogging. I don't call it running because I basically run like a snail and that's okay because I still do it <laughs> and I still get from point A to point B. So in 2014 um, I actually got to my lowest adult weight, which was 198. We had a huge change in 2014. We actually moved into a completely different state. We moved to Minnesota, where we are now. And moving to Minnesota meant no more curves for me, meant no more Zumba for me. Um, that is basically when the weight started slowly creeping back up. Um, pretty much by the end of 2015, I was maintaining anywhere from 230 pounds to 240. Probably mid-2015 is when we decided that we wanted to try for another baby. We had one daughter at the time. And at the very beginning of 2016, and right away at the beginning of the year, we found out that we were expecting, so I found out I was pregnant. And then in, I believe it was the beginning of February, we found out we were expecting twins. So that was very exciting, but it was also... A huge change for my body your body's not meant to make twins it's not it's not meant to make triplets it's not meant to make quads your body is meant to make one baby at a time and that is what your body is meant to handle so when I tell you that I got very big when I was carrying my twins that is not a joke <laughs> and when you get big like that it really does a toll on your skin. Um, so that's one of the things that I think for myself is a reason for my self-esteem right now is just because my belly had gotten so big that my skin is stretched out. Um, the stretch marks that I had when I was pregnant with my oldest um, were stretched out even further. Um, with the twins in 2016, uh, they were born in August at 36 weeks, three days. 
top weight that I was when I was pregnant was about 310 pounds so I was heavy and my hips hurt and my knees hurt and my ankles hurt and my feet were humongous um, the biggest thing with the birth of my twins is that I had to have a c-section both of the girls were breech um, and when I went into the hospital after my water broke, I did not end up with my own doctor. I ended up with the doctor on call because it was a Saturday morning. And the doctor on call was an older gentleman. And <laughs> he decided that because my belly was so big that he did not feel comfortable doing the cut hip to hip, so horizontal cut. So he told me that he was going to do a vertical cut. Um, which at the time I was just like, okay, you're the doctor, you make the decisions. Well then the very next day after the C-section, my doctor came to visit me and he lifted up the bandages and everything to look at my cut or look at the scar and he instantly became enraged because the doctor had done the cut vertical instead of horizontal, which was kind of a shock to me because obviously when a doctor says that, well, I think this is best, you assume that, okay, yeah, that probably is best. Well, basically the consequences of having the scar the other way is that the tension is really high on the scar. So I ended up having my C-section staples in for almost two extra weeks before he finally allowed me to have them out. And then when I had them out, the nurse actually missed one of the staples so I had one of the staples in for another almost week because that was when my postpartum visit was when I finally went to see him and he was taking off the little white strips and again he was like oh my god and ran out of the room really quick came back with one of the staple remover kits and he's like I am so sorry that this has happened to you and you know in in the, in the long haul it wasn't really that big of a deal obviously you know there was a lot of pain at the site at the time so that could have you know probably been avoided because that one staple wasn't out while the other pieces were all you know relaxed that part was still really high tension but I digress that's past it's been six months my twins are six months old now and I'm ready to get back into shape hopefully um, so that brings us to this year. So 2017, the main thing with 2017 that we decided to do as a family was no more soda. So no more pop. That's completely out of the house. We don't buy it anymore. If we do happen to go out to eat, we don't get soda with a meal. So on to the part of my plan for my journey. Um, for my diet. The diet is going to be my main focus because all last year, I mean I was pregnant for most of the last year and then as anyone would know that has had a baby, after you have a baby, you still, those cravings don't go away right away. Sometimes they're worse. In my case it was after I started birth control, my appetite went crazy. The diet is going to be pretty close to the ideals of the Curves Complete diet. Uh, like I said, I was a coach for that too. And I know that it works. I have seen it work. I have done it myself and had it work. With tracking my diet, I've been using the MyFitnessPal. So that's the diet part that I'm going to be doing. Um, the exercise, I'm going to be walking when I can. Like I said, the weather is super unpredictable right now. Spring in... <laughs> In Minnesota is just funny um, once it does get warmer though I do want to start jogging and like I said I want to do a 5k this fall um, honestly I think that having a 5k knowing that it's gonna be coming up and not want to mean not wanting to make a fool of yourself in front of like thousands of other people is pretty good motivation um, and then if I am stuck inside um, and even when the twins are awake like right now they're napping so I can be doing something, making you a video. Um, I can use my weights. I have one pound weights and I have three pound weights. Um, and then two, I wanted to talk about my motivations. Obviously my biggest motivations are being role models for my girls. Uh, Chloe is seven 
and Lila and Mara are six months and I want them to not only see me being healthy but I want them to want to be healthy too. Another motivation is fitting into clothes that are not maternity clothes. Um, I cannot fit into any of the jeans that I wore before I got pregnant. I have some of my old workout clothes like I'm wearing right now. I wear my workout clothes because it's stretchy and it fits over my new chub. So fitting into some of my old clothes is a big motivation. Just getting that maternity stuff out of my closet, you know, and pulling out the totes from the basement that have that old clothes in it would be just a great feeling for me. Next February, so February of 2018, me and my oldest daughter, Chloe, we are going to be going on a Disney cruise. Um, we're going to the Caribbean, and it is a three-night cruise, so we are super excited about it. My biggest motivation for doing this, I think, is seeing all of the other YouTubers that are doing these channels and they're doing it so bravely honestly this this isn't easy to do to sit in front of a camera and to talk to everyone about your body issues and it's not easy for you to know that other people are going to be watching these and maybe judging you maybe leaving you mean comments maybe you know maybe just thinking bad things you know that's something that you have to take with all the good things too, you know, motivating someone else to start their journey. I really do want to help other people. You know, I really, that's one thing I really do miss about being a curse coach is that I loved when the women would come in, do their weigh and measure, and they would be so proud of themselves and I could sit there and celebrate with them because they really considered me to be a part of their success. And I want to you guys to be a part of my success. I would really love to have you guys follow me and follow my journey and if anyone else has a journey going on and let me know. I will check you guys out and help you guys with your journey. Let me know if you guys have any ideas, thoughts, questions. Um, I'm gonna end this video here and let you guys see my weigh-in and my body shots for this week. Um, and then I will see you guys next week. We'll see you then. Bye.